so it has finished the task so let's now open it up and look at this this is absolutely beautiful i did not know that it was capable of generating this super accurately now if you are to do a side by side comparison let's actually take a look at it if you are to compare this to this ui over here it is very similar two weeks ago i showcased the new coding agent that could be deployed into vs code it's capable of generating apps within the ide and these are interactive and solidified apps being created it's a simple vs code extension that is an agentic coding framework and it connects with cloud 3.5 sonnet as its backbone just take a look at this email generator app that was developed with a single prompt within cloud dev and you can see the great output that it's capable of generating it's also capable of generating a Mario clone using geometric shapes and it also gives different animations to the shapes and characters. This is something that Claude Dev is able to output with a single prompt and this is something that was generated within a couple of seconds. Claude Dev is truly a spectacular app that can handle complex software development tasks step by step. You can create, edit files, explore complex projects, and even execute terminal commands. Claude Dev also enables you to basically have a human in the loop GUI and this is to supervise every file change as well as every command that's being executed. So you may be wondering now, why are we covering Cloud Dev again? Well, this is because there has been some huge different advancements and improvements that have been released to the framework and it will enhance the output of the generations that will make your life easier as a coder and developer. One of these advancements is the ability to paste images in chat to use Claude's vision capabilities. You can turn mockups into fully functional apps or fix bugs with screenshots. So say if you have a Figma screenshot or some sort of screenshot of a UX, you can paste it into the chat component and you're going to have a generation of a mockup of that sort of UX. The developer had also released a really cool new feature which is a new task history feature that will automatically save your tasks and this will allow you to pause and resume them anytime. It even adapts to changes in your projects and it's going to ensure your tasks stay in sync with the latest updates. This is going to boost productivity and add more flexibility to your development flow. Another really cool feature is Anthropic's new prompt caching feature which will significantly enhance Claude's efficiency and this has now been integrated within Claude Dev. It's going to make it up to 90% cheaper and 85% faster. Well you may be wondering how? Well this is because the feature is going to store and reuse previous prompts. It's going to reduce the need for repetitive processing and basically in this video it's showcasing the implementation of prompt caching and it's highlighting the substantial improvements in speed and cost effectiveness. This is where there's a comparison of running the same task in Claude Dev before and after the prompt caching feature. And you can see that the tokens went up for the initial prompt caching, or sorry, for the initial prompt that was sent into Claude Dev. And with the comparison afterwards, you will see a 90% cheaper rate of the tokens, which is going to be significantly lower and with the lower API costs. Now, this is just truly insane. This is where one developer was able to save so much money with 4.6 million tokens used. And this is because that amount of tokens have been cached and it was able to read through that cached amount to save massively. And you can see that the API cost is only $2.48. A lot of new other changes that have been introduced is that they added a task history, they added support for prompt caching which we just introduced, but they also added options to choose other cloud models as well as other models such as GPT-4 Omni, you have DeepSeek, you have Mistral, and they're all accessible through Open Router. You have the ability to add options to add custom instructions to the end of a system prompt, and this is definitely amazing for a lot of different prompt engineers who would want to configure their code generation to be outputted in a certain type of way, and this is basically a huge update for those types of generations. You're going to be able to paste images and having the support for Open Router and AWS Bedrock. So now what we're going to be doing is taking the time to explore all these features that have been implemented with this new update and showcase what you can do with all these different capabilities. Now before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. 
So how do you get started? Well, first things first, you need to make sure that you have VS Code as your ID to install the Cloud Dev extension within VS Code. You're going to also need to make sure that you have Anthropic's API key with a billing account linked to it to have the Cloud model operational within this extension in VS Code. What I want you guys to do is open up VS Code. And once you have this opened up, go over to the extensions. Now you can install it from the extension tab, or you can just simply go over to this link and click install, which will open up VS Code for you. And it will open up the, the extension itself over here within this extension tab. So you can just simply click install. Once you have it installed, you can start interacting with it right over here. Now, once you have your extension installed, click on the settings tab. And what you're going to need to do next is head over to Anthropic, the API provider. Make sure it's on Anthropic, but say if you want to incorporate like another model such as GPT-4 Omni or DeepSeek or Mistral, you can select it with Open Router's API key or AWS. But in this case, we're utilizing Anthropic. We're going to paste in our key. Don't need to worry and let me know that you need to stop showing your keys because I'm going to disable it after the video. So just simply paste in your key. Once you have that pasted, select the model of your choice. The best model is Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, so make sure you have this selected. Once that is done, you can add custom instructions, which is something that hasn't been able to be like possible previously. You're going to also have it so that there's maximal number amount of requests per task. So once you have this set, basically what this means is that it is going to basically have 30 steps maximum that to require you to finish or complete the generation so you can limit this to 15 or even 10 based off of how much tokens you want to spend per generation so once you have these settings set just simply click done and you can start generating things now let's say i want to basically replicate the same ui which is this patreon page what i'm going to do is take a screenshot of it so let's take our snipping tool and take a screenshot of it and what we'll do is we'll feed it into sonnet the reason why is because I'm going to showcase the new feature where you can basically implement a UX design and you can have Cloud Dev replicate it. So let's click on the photo button and attach our screenshot, which is in the downloads. So this is the Patreon PNG and we're going to send it in and we're going to request it to replicate it. All right, so let's send this in where I told it create a similar looking UI as the image attached. Try your best to replicate it perfectly and use whatever programming language that is required. So now what it's going to do is it's going to basically make the API request with the language model. It's going to then utilize the vision capabilities of Sonnet 3.5 and it's going to start analyzing that image and it will start replicating it. And we can see it's starting to index it and you can see that it came back with this response where it says, I'll create a similar ui to the one shown in the image it's going to basically explain the steps that's going to take which is to create an html file for the structure a css css file for styling a javascript file for interactive elements and an image file for the profile picture so now what we're going to do is that it's going to ask us to create a new file and this is basically the path that it's going to create the new file so let's approve of it and then it's going to also want to create the style css one and the javascript so now it's going to make the api request back to the language model to fulfill certain requirements that it has set over here and once it finishes doing that i'll showcase the image that it was able to replicate so it has finished the task so let's now open it up and look at this this is absolutely beautiful i did not know that it was capable of generating this super accurately now if you are to do a side-by-side -side comparison let's actually take a look at it if you are to compare this to this ui over here it is very similar it got the main bulk of the basic main page accurately it did not actually get a good chance to replicate this sidebar but you can basically go back into vs code and say that you missed the section which is on the left so please add it and it will actually do its best to add that part and you can see the capability of this amazing platform and this new feature now to test this new caching feature out what we're going to do is we're going to basically just ask to create that left portion again so i'm going to say you actually missed the left panel which has all of the other buttons in the image please generate the left panel and add it to the current page 
we're gonna send this request in and let's see if it's able to save cost as we have already cached this the prompt that we have sent in before so it will save money on that and it's gonna be able to do it quite fast for us and there we go we have the new iterative design that it was able to accomplish and this is the capability of this amazing app you can see that it was able to um, like super accurately design that full-on patreon page within a couple of seconds and this is the capability of cloud dev especially having it as cloud 3.5 as a backbone now this is a new update that I 100% recommend that you take a look at because it's spectacular and it's really really amazing to develop different sorts of code as well as apps with. So I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below and I just want to say huge respects to the creator of this project. Definitely give him a follow for him creating such an amazing framework. Now. With that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page if you want to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on the tw Twitter page because this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.